Thank you. Uh, good afternoon and uh, welcome to the Honolulu Liquor Commission. Uh, please silence your electronic devices. Um, if you're appearing today before the commission, please introduce yourself and your client and spell your names for uh, our commission's reporter. And if you're here testifying, please come forward, be sworn in Miss, by Ms. Arai, and also uh, spell your name for our commission's reporter. That being said, uh, commissioners, I see we have some minutes for consideration. Yes, Chair. <coughs> Motion to approve the regular minutes of the 11th meeting and the regular and executive session minutes of the 12th meeting as previously circulated. Second. Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. I vote aye. The regular minutes of the 11th and the regular and executive session minutes of the 12th meeting are approved. Moving into the public hearing, calling agenda item number one. Application number 19-16093 from Hawaii HIS Corporation. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Ms. Horai. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair and Commissioners. Uh, in this instance, the applicant has failed to uh, meet the requirements of HRS 28157C uh, as the affidavit of mailing uh, needs to be corrected. Uh, we will be asking the Commission to keep the public hearing open and continue this matter to the December 5th meeting so that the affidavit of mailing can be corrected and be on file for the seven business days uh, required by statute. Thank you very much. Uh, is there anyone in the audience that would like to testify for or against this application? Commission, can I have a motion on the recommendation from the Assistant Administrator? Yes, Chair. Motion to continue agenda item uh, 1 to December 5th, 2019 with the public hearing kept open. Second. Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. I vote aye. Uh, agenda item number one is continued to the December 5th, 2019 meeting. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, calling agenda item number two, application number 19-16776 from HSI Honolulu Joint Venture Company. Good afternoon, Mr. Mr. Chair, Mr. President of the Commission. Mr. Rye, Robert Leo, on, on behalf of HSI Honolulu Joint Venture Company. At this time, I respectfully request uh, permission to waive the presence of my client. Uh, he was expected to be here. I think he's running late. Okay, if fine. Proceed, that'd be wonderful. Okay, we will recall. Oh, huh? Are you an proceed. authorized agent? You're authorized. I am an authorized agent. Yeah. If we could proceed um, without him, we, if not, we can wait. We can wait. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we'll proceed. just. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Mr. Wioka, any changes? No changes to investigate his report. Yeah, Ms. Yeah. Okay. yeah, thank you, Mr. Chair and Commissioners. This application <laughs> has received zero written protests, zero letters in support. Applicants have statutory requirements for the submission of this application. Thank you. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to testify for or against this application? Seeing none, Commissioner? Motion to approve application number 19 16776. Second. Been moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. I vote aye. Agenda item number two, application number 19-16776 is approved. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ruyoka. Stay very clear. Calling agenda item number three, application number 19-16777 from HSI Honolulu Joint Venture Company. Robert Uyoka on behalf of HSI Honolulu Joint Venture Company. At this time, there's nothing to add in this case report. Thank you. Ms. Horai? Thank you, Mr. Chair and Commissioners. This application has received zero written protests, zero letters of support. Applicant has met statutory requirements for the submission of this application. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to testify for or against this application? Seeing none, Commissioner? Mr. Uyoka, I see that you have a dance floor on your floor pan. Is there going to be dancing? We do. We do have a dance floor that would only be for entertainment purposes, not for any nightclub or customer dancing. If anything, it would just be a hula dancer with entertainment. We just wanted a flexibility to have that in, in, in if any, uh, but no no customer dancing. This is going to be one of the more high-end cafe spaces, correct? It is a, an existing space that's not serving. Well, it's, we're operating under a, a special right now, but it is definitely a higher-end space, yes. Okay. Mr. Yoko, I, 
I'm looking at the SIP Lomano licensing yes. report. It looks like you, you or your client submitted a new floor plan exhibit B. That's going to be the designated license. Premises. Exactly. We submitted it prior to the last prior public uh, preliminary hearing, and then um, we, I asked the investigator to do the supplemental report. We did do the tax map. I submitted an amended tax map and mailing based on this additional area. So it's it's basically it's. It's just an, it's still covered area, but it's just additional dining over, kind of like an overflow. Okay. Thank you. Any further questions or type of action? Motion to approve application number 19-16777. Second. Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. I vote aye. Agenda item number three, application number 19-16777 is approved. Thank you so much. Thank you. Calling agenda item number four, application number 19-16803 from Island Oishi, LLC. Mr. Lee. Yes, Chair, due to a conflict, I'm after recuse from this agenda item. Thank you very much. <clears throat> One minute, please, Mr. Lee. <coughs> Good afternoon, Chair, uh, Commissioners, Terry Lee, uh, Council, and all our agents. For the applicant to my right is Kevin Haney, the uh, principal of the applicant. Uh, no changes to the investigative report. We did get a written one written protest, so uh, Mr. Haney can address that if he <coughs> desires. Thank you very much. Ms. Roy. Thank you, Mr. Chair and Commissioners. This application has received one written protest, zero letters of support. Applicants met statutory requirements for the submission of this application. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to testify for or against this application? Commissioners? Uh, Mr. Lee, if you can please address the protest. Yes, so the, the concern uh, expressed by the protester is that uh, they're concerned about excessive noise and safety issues. And the nature of Mr. Haney's operation is that it's predominantly a takeout operation. Um, he tends to close at 10 in the evening. He is not, ex it's a small space, it's 1,300 square feet. 1300. So he doesn't expect, you know, a lot of people to be, uh, you know, sit hanging around drinking, that sort of thing. Uh, it's just not that type of concept. Um, so, you know, I, 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 I appreciate the fact that, you know, it is a residential condominium next door. Uh, but this was a licensed restaurant in the past, and it will continue that type of operation going forward. Okay. When you say mainly takeout, um, this is for a restaurant general category two license, right? Yes. So they won't be able, it's not a retail license where they'd be able to purchase alcohol and take it out. No. So any alcohol will need to be consumed on premises. I think that's what the protest is concerned about, that people getting a little bit tipsy and walking out to the parking lot and making a bunch of noise. Yeah, it's, uh, a, a, again, a small operation. It's a counter service operation. It's really geared towards takeout, but we do have uh, about 24 seats in there. Uh, primarily beer and wine is, you know, what we're expecting to sell. Just, in, you know, we expect people to come in and order something, sit down, and be there for maybe an hour, you know, and and then leave. It's, it, I expect pretty low uh, liquor sales, actually. You know. And your staff has been trained to recognize over service and yes, when I, customers come I, in already intoxicated. I currently intoxicated. own other restaurants, and all my staff undergoes uh, training okay. for that. Because there's other, there's a lot of other um, um, establishments in the area that serve alcohol, so you fight, folks might not be the first stop. Mm -hmm. Please make sure your staff is aware. Gentlemen, do you know the proximity of 1717 Olivai to the restaurant? Uh, I, I don't. Uh, do you know the name of the building or the? No, but Olivai, you, you're not adjacent to Olivai. Uh, no, we are Olawai. in Eaton Square on okay. Hobron Lane, which is, uh, yeah. up, I'd say, a okay, few so hundred like, yards. Yeah, like a mile and a half, that's my thinking. OK, thank you. Motion to approve application number 19-16803. Second. Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. I vote aye. Uh, application number 19-16803 is approved. Thank you very much. Thank Can you. we have Ms. Uh, Commissioner Lee back, please?
Thank you. Uh, calling agenda item num number five, application number 20-20765 from North Shore Community Land Trust. Tim Tubiszewski. Uh, last name is T Y B U S Z E W S K I. Thank you very much, commissioners. So this is for a uh, fundraiser for North Shore Community Land Trust. Correct. Um, why don't you walk us through your event? Sure. Um, it's a uh, it's a evening for roughly about 500 people. We're expecting. Uh, this is our ninth year doing the event. Uh, we will have a um, Live music um, from some local entertainers and a silent auction as well. So, and dinner provided by uh, the local restaurant who will be catering. Okay, so 500 in attendance. What um, what musicians have you folks lined up? Uh, we have Henry Cupono, Kavika Kahiapo, uh, Ron Ortiz, and we have one other musician, but their name is escaping me at the moment. Okay, and I, I, I didn't see a floor plan attached to your application so there should have been a floor plan um, I had a, a an aerial view plan that had like a red triangle on it a trapezoid that's basically the gym. came out black and white so, oh. <laughs> so that yeah that's the aerial view um, and so it's basically in an open field on Toro Bay Resorts property um, near their horse stables um, yeah. yeah, I have the, the color picture, but what I mean by a floor plan... No, there's, is there's also a floor plan a, okay. in addition to that that I submitted. Um, and it, it basically had uh, the, basically the layout of the seating and where the bar is located and everything else. Okay, uh, we have not received that. So I just got a call this morning from one of the liquor commissions, uh, one of your employees, and they had, had some questions about the floor plan. So they have the floor plan in hand. Uh, for approval, so I'm not sure why you guys would not have it. Do you have a copy handy, sir? Uh, I didn't. I asked if I needed to bring anything from the, the member who, who called me this morning. They said, no, you should just be able to have to answer a question, and then you have this few yeah, questions. I have that, but you have I can, I can pull it up on my one. phone, obviously, but no, I'm sorry. I, I was unaware that I was going to be required to have anything. They just said I'd come and answer a couple questions, and then yeah. well, sure, I asked if I should bring the application. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Thank okay. you. Can we have the uh, licensing supervisor, uh, Daniel Sato, please? Supervising Investigator Daniel Sato. So the uh, applicant has represented certain facts. Uh, do you have any knowledge of those facts that no. he represented? No. Um, I can check. Can you check? Do you have um, licensing investigators on? Yeah, uh, and I can check with the licensing clerks if you want to take a moment. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I can. Or even if you can get us a plan within that recess time, though. Okay. Short okay is this the one that? Sorry. Let me just. Okay. I'll just hold it up, and you can confirm whether. It's clip funny too, of course. Hold on. Awesome. I'm just destroying the package. So what I can do is I can make additional. Comp oh, it's stapled too. I'm having a lovely day. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to this the club. Guy? Is it this guy? No, that's not the floor plan. Oh, all right. That's um. That's a, an additional, the Turtle Bay's lawyer requested me to do a, se a separate map based okay. on the map they provided for me, so that was... Okay, let's take a short recess. We'll have a short recess. Yeah, we're now in recess. My apologies. So, uh, what is that? Um, what is the date of this event? First of all, let's go back on the record. Okay, very good. Uh, let's call agenda item uh, number six. 
If you could just indicate for the record that number five will be deferred to later on in the on the agenda. Thank you. Okay, so we will um, we will uh, take up agenda item number five um, at a later time. Uh, I lost my agenda, gang. It's here someplace. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let's move on to. Uh, oh yes. Calling agenda item number six, application number 20-20774 from Bamboo Catering, Inc. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Commissioners. David Webb, authorized agent, Bamboo Catering. <coughs> Thank you very much. Commissioners, do you have any questions? This is for a corporate holiday party at the Filipino Community Center <laughs> in beautiful downtown Waipawa. <laughs> Mr. Webb, refresh my recollection. How do you determine how to staff your security <coughs> personnel based on yeah. the headcount? They, they defer him. If we do like an uh, anime fight, we go one per hundred. Okay. Otherwise, we just have one. If we get over, if we get a large party, anything over 250 or, or 300 like that, we'll have two. But if it's in the area of 150 to 200, we just have one. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And have you had any issues during these events thus far? No, we haven't. We've been very fortunate. We're following the rules. So. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we hope all of the attendees are following the rules. <laughs> They're pretty well behaved. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Uh, motion to approve application number 20-20774. Second. Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. I vote aye. Agenda item number six, application number 20-20774 is approved. Calling agenda item number seven. Application number 20-20775 from Bamboo Catering, Inc. David Webb, authorized agent, Bamboo Catering. Commissioner? This is for 7-Eleven Hawaii's holiday party? It is. It's a daytime party. <laughs> Small party. <laughs> Motion to approve application number 20-20775. Second. Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I vote aye. Agenda item number seven, application number 20-20775 is approved. Calling agenda item number eight, <coughs> application number 20-20776 from Bamboo Catering, Inc. David Webb, authorized agent, Bamboo Catering. Commissioners? Motion to approve application number 20-20776. Second. Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. I vote aye. Agenda item number eight. Application number 20-20776 is approved. On the agenda item number nine. Application number 20-20777 from Bamboo Catering, Inc. David Webb, authorized agent, Bamboo Catering. Commissioners? Couple corporate holiday party. Yes, right? this will be the third time, third year in a row. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Good message. Great. Motion to approve application number 20-20777. Second. Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. I vote aye. Agenda item number <coughs> nine. <coughs> Excuse me. Application number 20-20777 is approved. Calling agenda item number 10, application number 20-20778 from Bamboo Catering, Inc. David Webb, authorized agent, Bamboo Catering. Commissioners? Motion to approve application number 20-20778. Second. Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. aye. I vote aye. Agenda item number 10, application number 20-20778 is approved. Calling agenda item number tw uh, 11, application number 20-20779 for Bamboo Catering, Inc. David Webb, authorized agent, Bamboo Catering. And Mr. Webb, this is a graduation party, so this one's slightly different, correct? Yes. And there will be minors in attendance? Yes. So how do you folks intend to handle the um, pre uh, preventing minors from drinking? We definitely card everybody, even if they look like they're 40 years old. So it's, uh, um, the, um, it's, a, it's a University of Hawaii grad party. It's, it's, not, a, it's not a high school grad party. Mm -hmm. So there would probably be you know, fewer teenagers than normal. But they, you know, other, some of the guests have children who are under. Let's just be aware, make sure that everybody gets home safe. Yes, ma'am. Uh, motion to approve application number 20-20779. Second. 
Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, I vote aye. Agenda item number 11. Application number 20-20779 is approved. Thank you, Mr. Okay, thank you very much. Probably won't see you until next year, so happy holidays. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Sato, are we not ready? Okay, not ready. fine. No, yeah. just double check. Let's go raise that. Okay, here we go. Uh, calling agenda item number 12. Appli yes. oh, <laughs> Applications number 20-20873-1 through 20-20873-13 from Socorro Japanese Restaurant 4. Yes, Chair, due to a conflict, I'm going to have to recuse from this agenda. Thank you. Good afternoon, Chair, members of the Commission, Keith Kiyuchi for the applicant. Uh, I've read the investigator's report. I just got a couple of additions. The preliminary hearing for the permit permanent license applications held last week. The public hearing is uh, scheduled for January 2nd. Okay, thank you. Commissioners? This is for special beer and wine license. Uh, what's the purpose of this request, Mr. Kiyuchi? The um, application for this, the license was originally submitted on May 30th. It wasn't heard for preliminary hearing until October 31st. He's opening on December 2nd. Got it. That's why we uh, asked for that, which we normally would not. We can't get it temporary because this space was not a um, licensed premises before. I understand. Any questions, Commissioners? No. Motion to approve applications number 20-20873-1 through 20-20873-13, inclusive. Second. Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. I vote aye. Agenda item number 12. Application number 20-20873-1 through 20-20873-13, inclusive, is approved. Thank you. Are approved. <laughs> is approved. Calling agenda item number 13. Application number 19-17011 from Kizuna, Japanese Restaurant, Inc. Is that correct? Yes. The other time supermarket? Yes. Okay. Motion to approve application number 19-17011. Second. Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I vote aye. Agenda item number 13. Application number 19-17011 is approved. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Calling agenda item number 14. Application number 20-20026. From Blind Ox LLC. Mr. Z. Bakalong. Aloha, Chair, Vice Chair, members of the Commission. Emmanuel Z. Bakalong here as authorized agent for Blind Ox LLC. Uh, I've reviewed the investigative report and can speak to some of the highlighted issues uh, to help ease any concerns that the Commission may have. Thank you. <coughs> Commission. Um, specifically to the floor plans uh, that do not have kitchen fixtures uh, placed in at the time. Uh, they're still redoing how they're going to lay out their kitchens. They're going to use the space that's currently there, but in regards to where the refrigerators and stove tops are going, it's currently being walk, uh, worked out, and we will submit a floor plan before the public hearing is, uh, comes about. Uh, to the second point regarding the sidewalks, um, we 
Originally, we're going to use, and you can look at, I'm sorry, exhibit B, which shows the floor plan, um, specifically referring to the sidewalk in the front where there are seats. Uh, we were originally going to use a steel fence to kind of uh, block that off, but unfortunately, we're not sure if DPP is going to allow us to do so. So, secondary is movable planters. Um, additionally, there will be individuals who frequent that area, making sure that alcohol is not either handed off or given to anyone who's underage. And I believe that the last highlighted point. Uh, one, one question on, sure. on that sidewalk issue. Um, mm -hmm. Is the sidewalk in the right of way or is that on the property? Um, I believe it's right of way. That's right of way? Yeah. So it's owned by the city. Correct. Um, but I, I can double check on that to make sure. Uh, and update you at the final hearing. Was okay. there seating out there before? Is there is there always been seating out there? There was previously seating out there with the last restaurant that occupied the space. And there was the license permits with? I do not believe that they had a liquor license. Or didn't license. have liquor license. <coughs> and, um, um, and finally, I know that we are close in a residential area and there is some outdoor space and uh, we are applying for a category two. Um, any outdoor music will be lowered before 10 p.m. to make sure that we're not having any negative impact on the surrounding neighborhood. Um, and just as well, the current lessee is also the owner of the property. Uh, so there's gonna be no back and forth with the landlord as they're the same person. Application number 20-20026. Second. Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I vote on agenda item number 14. Application number 20-20026 is approved. Thank you. And then, and business and couple of work, we got to expect for the Okay, let's move on to agenda item number 15. Application number 20 there's 20511 from Cotty Foods Pizza Hawaii. Aloha, what? Chair. Yes, Chair. There's a conflict I'm going to have to reduce on this agenda. Thank you very much. <coughs> Aloha, Chair, Vice Chair, members of the Commission, Emmanuel Zibakalam here on behalf of Cotty Foods Pizza Hawaii, Inc. Uh, to my right is Luther Pasquale Mateo. Um, he is the general manager for Kati Foods in Hawaii. Uh, would you be able to spell your name for the record? It's um, Luther, L-U-T-H-E-R, Pascua Mateo, P-A-S-C-U-A hyphen M-A-T-E-O. Uh, we reviewed the investigative report and have no changes at this time. Very nice. Commissioner. Pizza coming to Kaneohe. Pizza coming to Kaneohe, 96744. <laughs> Thank you so much. We've been nice. waiting. <laughs> but that being said. <laughs> and this is in Windward Mall, correct? Yeah. Okay, terrific. Uh, motion to approve application number 20-20511. Second. Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. I vote aye. Agenda item number 15. Application number 20-20511 is approved. Thank, Thank you, gentlemen. I don't know if number five is ready. Uh, is, are we ready, Mr. Sato, for number five? Pardon? Okay, the right copies. Pardon? The right copies. Not yet. Moving on. Okay. <laughs> Calling agenda item number 16. <laughs> There's no fish in this commission. <laughs> Request number 19-16600 from Fish Honolulu, LLC. This Good afternoon, number. Commissioners. Anthony Suitsugu uh, for Fish Honolulu, LLC. With me today is Joseph uh, Saturnia, uh, one of the members. Very good. Commissioner? We have a new one. Any questions? No questions. Motion to approve request number 19-16600. Second. Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. aye. I vote aye. Agenda item number 16. Request number 19-16600 is approved. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck, gentlemen.
Uh, calling agenda item number 17, request number 20-20884 from Nashville Waikiki LLC. Ms. Obsiana. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair, members of the Commission. Mia Obsiana, on behalf of the applicant, seated to my right is Jonas Souza, member of the applicant. Commissioners. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. The question is, what's the reason for the request? Well, Mr. Sousa has already undergone this process twice with his two other businesses, and just for expediting purposes, um, and wanting to be able to begin operations as soon as possible, he did want to see if the commission would consider waiving this particular requirement when and using the documents that are already on file. When was the last time that he was um, fingerprinted and provided a personal history and affidavit? That would have been last year during his application for um, the Bayview Banquet Hall. So it's been less than a year. And can you attest for the record that Mr. Souza, that you have not committed any uh, zero. felonies during that time? <coughs> no, yeah, uh, zero, yeah. Uh, no, no felonies or any arrests or stuff like that. So, yeah, in some instances, we get these types of requests when the applicant's um, principal is off island, let's say in Japan or another country, and so there's some hardship to travel, but Mr. Souza's here in Hawaii. I'm wondering why he cannot just submit to the thing. It's not that he can't, um, and I just want to be clear, it's mostly for convenience purposes, for it to expedite the process so that he can be added as soon as possible. Um, he does understand that it's within the commission's discretion that should you choose not to grant him the waiver, he would have to go through the process again. But in the interest of expediting the process. We did feel that because he had so recently done the personal history affidavit, the criminal background check, and the fingerprinting within a year of our request that um, the commission might extend him the courtesy of the waiver. When you say expedite the process, what kind of time are you saving if we allow the waiver? Um, I believe it does take some time to process the fingerprinting. Um, so. It's, it would be like a matter of, I believe, weeks. I don't know. It, it would depend on the processing time for the investigator. We're here from licensing supervisor. Stop, though, please. Supervising investigator Daniel Sato. The individual was last fingerprinted in 2016. The process for fingerprinting takes less than half an hour. And we can do it in the office. Today. If they would like. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is your pleasure, Ms. Obsiana? Uh, we leave it to the Commission's discretion. We do understand it's completely within your purview. Um, it was more of a convenience factor and wanting to just get things moving. Mm -hmm. um, but if the Commission doesn't feel that. The I just don't hear the hardship given that he can do it today. If and and he, we're not claiming a hardship. We, we're just or the requesting thing. the courtesy of a, and, of a waiver. And I'm sorry, I misspoke. I, I don't see the convenience issue if, or expedition. If the issue related to expediting the process, if your client is president <laughs> and today can do it today, perhaps tomorrow. There is still the paperwork that we would have to do, but that's fine if that's okay. the commission's pleasure. Mr. Sato. We comment on the required paperwork that needs to be done. We, we do have the paperwork which was submitted within the two-year window. It's just the fingerprinting and the background check itself is outside the two years. Okay. Let me ask Let me ask the applicant, Mr. Souza. Yes. Would you like to accompany Mr. Sato? Uh, right now? Yeah, right now. <laughs> Expedite it for the, <laughs> for the purpose of the expedition. Can we do it now? Huh? Can we do it? No, we're in business there. hours. Can you do it right now? I sure. <laughs> I thought you just represented the fact that you could do it. I think you meant during the business day, and it's already four, yes, four years. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow afternoon. You can come tomorrow afternoon. There's only two police or so. Uh, you know what? So can, can we go into executive session? Motion to convene into executive session. Second. Move the second. All those in favor. Aye. I vote aye. We are now in executive session. But that's for me.
Okay, thank you. Uh, <coughs> we're now back on the official record. Commissioners? Uh, yes, Chair. Uh, motion to deny request number 20-20884. Second. Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I vote aye. Agenda item number 17, request number 20-20884 is uh, denied. Um, Vice Chair Men? Yeah, so um, we have investigators ready that can process you right now. Beautiful. Oh. Thank you. So we'll see. Expedite. We can, go see we can expedite it there, Mr. Thank Sousa. you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> How's that for service, huh? Thank you. Sir. Thank you. <laughs> Check on the Okay. Yes, we can go back to calling agenda item number five. Okay. Well, let me uh, let me recall it again for the the car. Uh, the yes. Yes. We now have that. Yes. Thank right. You. Okay. Uh, let me, uh, for the official record, uh, calling agenda item number five, application number 20-20765 from North Shore Community Land Trust. Can you please introduce yourself again? Sure. Uh, Tim Kubiszewski, T-Y-B-U-S-Z-E-W-S-K-I. Okay, and we apologize for the confusion. Um, all right, so we do have the floor plan, which shows your bars laid out. Um, are you, what kind of... Um, barriers are you folks going to be using to delineate the licensed premises? Um, so it's in an open field and the parking area uh, around where the event's going to be happening um, and the registration check-in area is going to delineate the in and out of flow of people. Okay, um, but the whole, so what I'm asking is the whole area, the whole field is you want licensed or is it just going to be your event space? Uh, well, the event space is majority of the field because it's 500 people, so it's a pretty large, we have a, a 70 by 90 tent plus two 30 by 40 tents. Um, yeah, so it's a pretty uh, large area. Okay. Um, so a majority of the field will be utilized by the guests. Okay. So is this be behind the stables? It's right, right next to the stables. Next to the stables. Yeah, it's yeah. that kind of golf course green flat yep. uh, lawn that's right next to the stables before you get to it. Thank you. I also had a question on your landlord authorization form. So the listed landlord contact name is Andrew Spinelli, but the signature of the landlord is a Mr. Robert A. Uyoka. So uh, the Mr. Uyoka is their lawyer. Okay. Um, but I wasn't involved in that. Yeah, we handed them, we filled, gave them the paperwork to fill out, and they gave it back to us, basically. So. Okay. To so bay, to so bay that's, bay that's an authorization and. Uh, of the landlord. To my knowledge, yes. The landlord is Andrew Spinelli for Turtle Bay. Correct. All right. And see. What kind of security plan do you folks have? Uh, we have Honolulu Police Department officers, off-duty officers on site throughout the event uh, from about 30 minutes before the event starts to about an hour after it ends. How many? Do you uh, have? We will be having three officers. Okay. And um, that's already been approved? Yes. ACD? We've already uh, put in the application for the special duty. Yeah. And we do that. We've had that every year, the officers. Can I clarify the time? Because the application indicates 0 to 5 o'clock, which should be 5 a.m., but this is 5 p.m. to 10 p.m.? It's, it's 5 p.m., yeah. Thank you. It's 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Anything else? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, motion to approve application number 20-20765. Second. Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. I vote aye. Agenda item number five. Application number 20-20765 is approved. Thank you. Thank you. Have Good luck. Okay, let's see. Going, moving up to agenda item number 18. <clears throat> Calling agenda item number 18, request number 20-20896 from AK Corporation, Mr. Kiyuchi. Good afternoon again, Mr. Chairman, Commission Keith Kiyuchi for the licensee. Um, this is a request for a waiver. The licensee will not be operating. The licensee is going to transfer the license to another one of my clients. And in the process, not only 
does the license get renewed and the fees paid, but the fines get paid too? Um, the present licensee is getting zero out of the transaction. Uh, you may want, want, want to wonder why they're signing off. They're signing off because the landlord's not going after them for the background. So. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that information. Um, Do we have a buyer already, Mr. Yeah, Kachi? the buyer's in place. In fact, they signed the lease. The buyer's already signed the lease, and we're working on the application for the buyer on a transfer and a tenant. And where on Corner Street is this? This is um, the same building where Side Street Inn is at, so it's the back side. Um, if you remember, I asked you for a waiver on the 4 o'clock license. The 4 o'clock license is on the same side on Corner Street. On one side is um, Misty One, which is a strip bar. This is uh, used to be called Cash State Lounge. They're going to change the name once it's transferred. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Motion to approve request number 20-20896. Second. Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. aye. I vote aye. Agenda item, item number 18. Request number 20-20896 is approved. And I've got an adjudication that Ms. Ogata is going to continue. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> calling agenda item number 19. Request number 20-20872 from Mr. Richard Howard, Wildlife Country Club. <coughs> Aloha Chairman and Commissioner, my name is Jessica Eaton, J-E-S-S-I-C-A, last name E-A-T-O-N. I'm the authorized agent from Wildlife Country Club, um, representing for Mr. Howard, he's off island today. And then I have our food and beverage director, David Brown. D-A-V-I-D, <coughs> B-R-O-W-N, just here to answer any questions that Jessica might not be familiar Very with. So this is for the Sony Open and requesting a waiver for the um, officers and directors, which are how many? Eighteen. Eighteen. Since this is a similar request that we've seen on the today's agenda. Could you give us a little bit more information of are, are these officers directors here in Hawaii? Is there any reason why they cannot submit to these uh, requirements? They are here in Hawaii. Um, these are all um, gentlemen that are working, you know, full time throughout the day. Um, we typically ask for this request every year mm -hmm. um, because of that. We are um, under our club license. I guess it's not required. Although we're here today for the special, a special Sony Open liquor license. Um, so. That would just be the reason, is that it might be difficult for all of them to come in to do their fingerprinting. Can you attest for the record that uh, none of these 18 officers and directors have committed any felonies within the last two years? That's the reason for the criminal background check. Okay, have not committed. Motion to approve request number 20-20872. Second. Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, I vote aye. Agenda <coughs> item number 19. Request number 20-20872 is approved. Thank, Thank you, you very much. I'm sorry, one more request. I guess I was also wanting to request to waive the personal history and criminal history background. That's, that's that what you did. That, that was on the agenda. Along with the fingerprinting. Yep. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And then... I just wanted to ask if for consideration if this could be an ongoing no. request. No, <laughs> I mean, okay, you can so submit a request and we can agendize it and we can go through it, but that's not what's on the agenda today. Okay, so come back next year. 
to do this in reflex. Can okay. we have a, okay. a okay. Thank you very much. You yeah. On that. We um, have a, since the request was specific to app, an application that's going to be filed for the upcoming uh, uh, tournament, it, it did not specify for this to be a, a waiver in perpetuity. So if you, that's what you would like, then you can you make a specific request. Yes. Make another request for that. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Chair, uh, motion for the adoption and decision and order for agenda items 20 through 28 inclusive. Second. Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. I vote aye. Agenda item number 20. Uh, excuse me. Uh, yes. Uh, the adoption of decision and order. Agenda items number 20. To 28 inclusive are approved. Let's move into the uh, adjudication. Adjudication, yes. Careful. Yeah. Careful. Don't get rid of me. Don't hurt yourself. We're excited to see you back tomorrow. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Good afternoon. Deputy oh. Corporation Council Pedro Gato. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Calling agenda item number. 29 uh, champs. Yes, Chair. Uh, due to a conflict, I'm going to have to read from agenda items number 29, 30, and 31. Very good. Thank you, Commissioner Lee. Chair, members of the Commission, I have spoken with Mr. Kiyuchi. Um, we have agreed to continue this matter for one week if possible i have no objection mm -hmm. Thank you. motion to continue agenda item 29 for one week second move the second all those in favor aye i vote aye agenda item number 29 is continued for one week calling agenda item number 30 champs chair members of the commission as with the previous um agenda item we, mr kiuchi and i have agreed to continue this for one week no objection motion to continue agenda item 30 for one week second Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. I vote aye. Agenda item number 30 is continued for one week. Calling agenda item number 31, Champs Hawaii Sports Bar and Restaurant. Chair, members of the commission, as with the previous Champs um, adjudication number, we have agreed to continue this for one week. No objection. Motion to continue agenda item 31 for one week. Second. Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. I vote aye. Agenda item number 31 is continued for one week. Thank you very much. Can we have Commissioner Lee back, please? <clears throat> Thank you. Calling agenda item number 32, Murphy's Bar and Grill. Good afternoon. Chair and members of the committee, I'm Lex Smith, and I'm accompanied by Mr. Don Murphy, the principal of Murphy's Bar and Grill. Thank you for agreeing to postpone the hearing to today. That was at my request, and I appreciate it. Uh, can we address 32 through 37, 30, 38 all at once, or? Um, yes. Okay, thank you. Yes, we can. Uh, you, you'll notice these all occurred on the same day. Uh, I, I okay, excuse me, sir. Uh, I think the prosecutor would like to read the charges. Unless you're going to waive reading of all of the charges. We waive. You waive. Thank you very much. There you go. Okay. <laughs> and um, before you get started on explaining, sir, I do need you to enter a plea for, for these charges. So we can take them one at a time, or if you would like to plead, make the same plea for all, we can do that as well. What's your pleasure? We we need to have you plead really before you proceed. I, I understand. Yes. I, I'm just trying to think of what, how I want to do this. I, I, I really want to give mitigation more than accuracy of it. We, we don't deny that the facts that are alleged here are true. Okay, so if you, so you'll have the opportunity to let us know all the mitigating circumstances, but you do need to enter a plea first. Okay. I see. Guilty with an explanation then. Okay. 
Okay, very good. And on all agenda items? Uh, on all 31, no, 32 mm -hmm. through 38. 32 through 38. Motion to accept the fees for agenda items 32 through 38. Second. Been moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I vote I the guilty plea is approved for agenda items I accepted excuse me to agenda items number thirty two through thirty eight. Okay. And um Ms. Ogata, will you be okay with um, a recommendation after he provides this his testimony? No problem. Thank you. Mm -hmm. okay. Go ahead, Mr. Smith. Okay. I, I think Mr. Murphy probably wants to speak. Yes, He's probably course. bursting to talk already. Well, I, but I, 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 I just wanted to point out that a couple of these uh, items, number 32 and 34, uh, are somebody was consuming a product that Murphy doesn't sell. So, and at this St. Patrick's Day event, it's a little difficult for for him to police that because he's not allowed to search backpacks or that sort of thing on the premises to the license. So uh, they do their best with this sort of thing and two people uh, uh, were found. Several of the others, uh, uh, none of these violations involves sale of product to anyone underage. Uh, several of the people who were uh, the subject of these 40, 37, 36 uh, were not wearing wristbands and Again, I mean, it, we, we understand what the rules are, and Don will tell you he does his best to, to keep things under control. But it, at least you should understand that there was every effort was made to follow the rules here, and, and his personnel did not violate the rules. Why don't you go ahead and say what you've got to say? Well, we'll have long enough for that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, and, and like Lex said, on the, the ones now, in, in further talks with the Liquor Commission, I guess we are allowed to, to search backpacks. The city told me we cannot. So that's, you know, I don't know, you know, I don't, one tells you one, one tells you the other. So I don't, uh, but that, you know, that's, we have no control over that if, if, if we're not allowed to search the backpacks. Uh, and moving forward, if we do do this again, which I'm not sure I'm going to after what I've gone through the last nine months with this crap uh, we just would try to, to nail it down and do a better job uh, doing it and, and quite frankly probably work meet with the Commission with the investigators you know and get some input from them you know as to what we do you know we've been hit the last several years you have an event this size you have 10 to 15,000 people you're gonna have minors I mean that are gonna come and gonna try to drink I mean, in all honesty, I had my first drink before I was legal. Again, I don't know a lot of good people that didn't. That, but I just don't know how to, you know, how to control it except to, I don't know. That's you know, what I, I got to work with the, the commission on. Like I said, if I do go forward and do this again, uh, we try to do run it nice and clean. We've had no problems in the past, and, you know, no major fights or anything. A lot of little skirmishes, but nothing. Major, it's known as one of the better promotions of this in the country. It's been written up in several national papers, uh, and we really do try to do a good job and make it fun. And I love doing it, and I and I think I would to the community to do. But quite frankly, I don't know if I want to do it anymore. If I've got to, you know, get beat up on this thing, well, constantly. You can tell from listening to him, he, he takes his commitments to the commission seriously, wants to do a good job with it. And I think he's committed to trying to communicate in advance and, and make sure he's got a better understanding with the commission before the event occurs. Uh, I, I think that's something that, that needs to be kept in mind, as well as it, you know, to, to have only seven violations out of, uh, out of 10 or 15,000 people. It's kind of impressive that it was kept to that low of a level. This um, and Ms. Ogata, please opine if you um, can. That uh, do we know how these minors were able to enter the 
area if they and especially the ones that were not banded were they already in a bar or something that no no that's that's one of the problems and it's something maybe I can work with the city city on anybody can come onto the street it's a public street so we can't stand at the you know at Bethel and merchant and have a stand and say you can't come in unless you have a band and you've got to be 21 to have a band right. that's what I'm told by the city now I kind of get in talking to uh, other people that that may not be true if that's fact it's my license area I can control that area mm -hmm. uh, if that's the case that's going to make it a lot easier mm -hmm. you know then, then that's what we'll do we'll set up barriers and you know and I'd, I'd hate to do it we've never done it but maybe I charge five dollars a band to get in that would keep some of them out anyway or you know whatever but I, we've never charged for to, to get a wristband like the hollow blue they were charging fifteen dollars a person which mm -hmm. is ridiculous but that's what they do and the entire area you saying was open to all ages. Oh sure, yeah, and, and especially in the parking lot, we do a cakey tent where we have probably 300 kids mm -hmm. come throughout the day. You know, which we want to do. It's, they have a ball. You know, it's all kinds of crafts and face painting for them and everything, and it's it's great for the for the you know the parents to bring the kids down on St. Patrick's Day. It's a big deal, and we've got Cole Academy that's right on the corner there, so they bring all the kids over. So it's you know it's really a family oriented deal. Until about five or six o'clock, and then it changes to a different deal. And so, Gata, anything you want to say? That is my understanding: is that there's no checkpoint barriers into the licensed premises, which so, is how these okay. minors were able to enter. So, how do people get banned? It though is that for to purchase alcohol? They well, yeah, you've got to you got to have a band to purchase, and none of the people that we were cited for had a band, so it was a buy and pass. You know, somebody bought them. Somebody bought a beer and passed it to the. the and they're all girls. They're all young girls. And I'm sure Mr. Smith will understand that. I, though we understand your good intentions, the, the HRS is strict liability. We understand the responsibility of the licensee. Right. That, that's why we pled guilty and wanted to offer our mitigation. Okay. Um, you have anything else before I ask for recommendations? No. It's, uh, before we do that. Mm -hmm. um, Agenda item 35 is different. It doesn't deal with struggle mining. I wonder if you can comment on that. 35. That's to deal with liquor being consumed outside of the license premises, right? Somebody left. I, do you know anything more about that one? No. Some, some, somebody walked. You know, they, He's got the permit for the for the block for the street, and somebody walked off with I guess a cup in their hand or something. Yeah. Okay. Ms. Rigada, do you have any factual um, information on this particular violation? Based on the investigative report, that's correct. That somebody did have a cup of beer that appeared to be purchased at the event and walked out of the license premises, still cons still holding their cup of beer. Um, one of our licensed one of our licensed investigators did observe this person exit the licensed premises with their cup. Yeah, we had hired a security company that was supposed to have two guys at every entrance or exit, making sure that didn't happen. Obviously, they failed on that that thing. Can you refresh my memory, Mr. Murphy. Uh, what was the number of security personnel you had for this event? Security Perhaps. personnel, security. probably. Well, aside from aside from the. Uh, Special duty is probably in excess of 20. Let's break it down. Security. Uh, Se security from the security company in excess of 20, like 22 or so. And then what about HPD? HPD, ooh, I want to say there's 14 or 16. But they're pretty much just uh, traffic uh, traffic control and everything. They won't get involved in anything. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Ms. Okata, um, let's go one by one. Your recommendations uh, with, uh, for agenda item 32? Recommended fine is $2,000. 33? Recommended fine is $2,000. 34? Recommended fine is $2,000. 35? For 35, I understand that this is a first violation for them. However, given the history of violations in which there has been sales to minors and the like, I'm still recommending a $2,000 fine. 36? Recommended fine is $2,000. 37? Recommended fine is $2,000. And 
138 recommended fine is two thousand dollars. I have a question for Ms. Agata. Yes. So 37 and 38, they appear to be two minors on each of the violations. Can you speak to that? Rec on number 37, I'm sorry, I have to read the LCD numbers. On number 37, it appears from the licensing report that Yes, so it appears that there were two females that were given that both had this cup of alcohol that was passed. Um, they, neither of them had a wristband. Um, both of them were apparently 19 years old. And similar situation for 38? Yes. Thank you. If I could, I'd also like to say, you know, all these say that, that we allow this, this to happen, the, the consumption and the, the, all that. We don't allow it. It just happens. Somebody breaks into your house. You don't allow them to break in. They break in. So, you know, it's, it's, uh, I mean, it just makes me look like, hey, you guys, come on, have a great party. Come, come on. I'm allowing you. Come on, girls. Drink, and that's not the way it is. We understand, Mr. Murphy. Okay. Uh, motion to convene into executive session. Second. Move and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I vote aye. We are now in executive session. Okay, thank you. We are now back on the uh, official record of Vice Chair Min. Uh, yes, Chair. Uh, we'll take these one by one. Mm -hmm. uh, agenda item 32, um, motion to approve a fine of $1,000. Second. Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. aye. I vote aye. Agenda item number 32, a fine of $1,000 will be imposed. Agenda item 33, motion to uh, motion to approve a fine of $1,000. Second. Move and second. All those in favor? Aye. I vote aye. Agenda item number 33, a fine of $1,000 will be imposed. Agenda item 34, motion to approve a uh, fine of $1,000. Second. Move and second. All those in favor? Aye. I vote aye. Agenda item number 34. <coughs> Uh, a fine of $1,000 will be imposed. Agenda item 35, uh, we'll treat this as a first time offense, a first violation uh, for adjudication purposes. Uh, motion to approve a fine of $500. Second. Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I vote aye. Agenda item number 35, a fine of $500 will be imposed. Agenda item 36, motion to approve a fine of $1,000. Second. Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. I vote aye. Agenda item number 36A, fine of $1,000 will be imposed. Agenda item 37, motion to approve a fine of $1,000. Second. Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. I vote aye. Agenda item number 37, a fine of $1,000 will be imposed. For agenda item 38, motion to approve a fine of $1,000. Second. Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. I vote aye. Agenda item number 38, uh, fine of $1,000 is imposed. Can I have a total, please? Yes, Vice sir. Chair. For a total of all violations for agenda items 32 through 38, a total in fines of $6,500 will be imposed. Thank you, Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Okay. Calling agenda item number 39. Thank you. Do we have any administrative matters? No, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, calling agenda item number 40. This is for discussion and response to the petition to amend the rules of the Liquor Commission as stated in Resolution 19-221 CD1 adopted November 6, 2019. We are uh, so commissioners. You've had an opportunity to look at it. I know we have some concerns, and I think uh, my concern is the adjoining area to the licensees, which 
which is on, uh, let me get my, ooh, ooh, ooh. I agree with the chair's concerns of that portion of the yeah. resolution. The, the rest of the resolution, um, I believe the commission already has those powers. Mm -hmm. So we already possess that authority, but um, putting the burden on licensees to control areas outside of their licensed premises and in many instances outside of their leased area, I don't think is appropriate, but you know, if that's what the mm -hmm. council feels, then that's something that licensees will have to deal with. So let me uh, um, ask this question. I just had it. Um, let me ask this question. Uh, so what is the process? Okay, so uh, as you know, we are uh, going through a rule amendment process uh -huh. now. The first priority uh, that, which must be completed by the end of this year is that I have to get a rule numbering system uh, in place because uh, as we roll out new LCIS, the new rule numbering and some of the existing rules that you uh, know in law will, be or will need to change numbers. That all has to be in place to reduce the number of change orders that we will need to make in the future. Following that, we will be dealing with the, uh, basically almost top to bottom, the substantive um, uh, uh, substantive amendments to the rules, which will um, uh, be taking place. The, the goal is to get that largely done by the end of FY20, so June 30 of next year. Uh, if the commission directs administration to include these three items in the proposed rule amendments, we can include them. I would not think that we would be required to undertake rulemaking specific to these uh, these three, you know, exhibits A, B, and C, because that would be burdensome and expensive and uh, very difficult to do. So we can include it with the rest of the of the items that are uh, going to be taken up. Uh, the entire rule amendment package, since nothing in impacts um, license fees, will go through two hearings. It will first go uh, to the Small Business Regulatory Review Board for a review mm -hmm. and comment accompanied by a small business impact statement. Following that, it will come before you in public hearing. So uh, the, the rules that are uh, contained in the RESO uh, exhibits a B and C can be just moved on to proposed rule amendments if you wish. They will be vetted essentially twice. I have a, I have a question. Yep. So um, the, the commission's concern is with Exhibit B regarding uh, extending the area of the sidewalks and all. Is it also uh, you folks? You folks feel that we should keep the language that says under the licensee's control because the council's recommendation is to delete that. They want to, to delete this section the rules of the commission for the purpose of preventing activities within the license premise or adjacent areas that are potentially inju injurious to the health safety I, I don't I think it's not specific enough it's too vague how what size area what you know, I mean a lot of times they don't control those areas at all and they're not leasing or paying for those areas so I, I I have a problem with the entire exhibit because I think and also I think it may um, create a conflict of law you know that property law and who's actually liable for those areas so with without them being specific uh, is it 15 feet outside of your license premises is it 30 feet is it you know how far are we talking about so I, I have a problem with the entire yeah. uh, exhibit B. 
if the commission, I mean, so indicates uh, exhibits A, B, and C can be moved into the rule amendment packet as is without without uh, revision by you, and it will be, we can indicate the source of those rule amendments and then allow uh, what is expected to be a whole bunch of public testimony coming in a public hearing. I'm just saying that that is an option. If, if you do not, uh, you know, depending on uh, how you want to proceed. We can just move the entire group on, indicate the source that it is unamended by the commission, because the direction is to you to petition to amend the rules. So you're taking the proposed language, stick it in into the package, we indicate the source, and then allow both the Small Business Regulatory Review Board make, to make their comments, and I expect they will, mm -hmm. and then also at public hearing. It's just, it's up to you. or spend more time tweaking it there there is time to do that because initially all I'm going to be doing is working on those rule numbers to get those set before we get into the substantive amendments which will probably I'll start in January or maybe earlier and if, I, <clears throat> if I can come in for the record um, in answering the administrator's question I'm actually okay with the proposed rule changes exhibits A, B, C, except I would not delete under the licensee's control mm -hmm. in exhibit B. Yeah. That would be more acceptable to me too. Right. So mm -hmm. we, would, we would want to say that we are opposed to any revisions uh, to 382.38.25 paragraph A and B. That's where the, that's where the proposed deletions are, right? We would, we would be in favor of the existing? I I wouldn't be in favor of it, but it would be more it would be more acceptable to me if Ooh, it, right. yeah. it indicated those areas scene, right? that were yeah. actually under their control mm -hmm. because then that gives us gives more specific, specific uh, makes us more specific area. Yeah, I wouldn't be opposed to moving at all. In, um, but I think it does need to be looked at further. We could place this matter back on the agenda. I mean, because there's uh, because there's not a directive from uh, council that we take these three items up independent of the. I mean, I'm not reading that command in here. If you want to think about it and have it placed on uh, next week's agenda, December 5th agenda, what have you, and think about it some more. I mean, that's... I'd like to have all five of us here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. That's fair enough. Do I put it for next week, or... That's we can fine. carry yeah. it forward until you do have five. I mean, there's no, yeah. uh, there's no requirement that you actually, you know, dispose of the matter just because it's on the agenda. Right. Okay. I think we're I all agreeable to... to say, though, that Interesting. Thank you. So, so, but I think we are within the time frame because I think the start date for the adoption was November 6th, and we put it immediately on the agenda. So we have time. So mm -hmm. I'm just saying we have time to put it on the agenda for um, when Commissioner Van Van comes back to have that discussion as well. Well, let me ask. Let me ask this question. What happens if the commission, uh, if the commission? denies the resolution. It's fine. It can be treated like any petition. Um, you just have to... Who, who, would, who would make the uh, uh, proposed the change to the current language? The, it would go go the back regular, to the council? No. It no? would go back to the rulemaking process here at the Liquor Commission. Mm -hmm. um, 
um, and so it would be kind of the rulemaking process under 91, which I think Anna was just explaining, which I think yeah. I even we, we actually process. are in that process now, yeah. it's been delayed. So and it's within the window. Yeah, I would, I would think that any proposed language changes would be part of the response, that the, the written response that's due 30 days after adoption of this reso, right? Well then, then I think the I think the best thing for us to do is to um, continue this matter. Uh, <coughs> one week, next week. Is Narcy going to be here? Uh, she called me this morning. She has to be excused because she had some uh, uh, business that she, she had to get done. Next week? Oh uh, no, she did not mention next week. Okay. Is, are us four all good for next week? Mm -hmm. yeah. You have no um Oh, wait. Uh, next week? Oh, yeah. Next 21. Week 21. Yeah, yeah, 21. The and following we week yeah. is Thanksgiving. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought that exactly, myself. too. <laughs> yeah, I thought that exactly, you know. Okay. Because yeah, this if, is an unusual if, year. Yeah, Vice Chair Ganapan's going to be here. Then yeah. Okay, next so week we'll is just fine. We'll yeah. carry the, uh, this matter forward. Yes, please. Continue to uh, so next week. Yeah. One week. Do you want them to take action on that? Um, you know, continue this? Yeah. Continue, yeah, take action. Um, I don't think so. I don't think we need to go on it. Okay. okay. I'll just, I'll, I'll make just a notation that it'll be uh, placed back on the agenda for next week. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Can, can we, um, is there some way that we can get on the record that we, the commission has reviewed the resolution? It's part of the, tra it's yeah. part of the transcript of this. Of yeah. this hearing. I want that. I want. I don't want the city council to say, "Well, yeah, these guys don't." You know what I mean, right? I mean, we did discuss it. We're just feeling that. Yeah, it was part of the yeah. yeah, right. That that'll be. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So maybe in the next, um, in the next handout, we can have what be adopted versus be amended. Because I think since since the homework came out, they we have the adopted uh, resolution on there. Okay. Oh, as opposed to. The, the advanced copy. Right. Yeah. Do we need a motion for that? No. no. Just, Just for next week's discussion. Okay. Mm -hmm. So do we have any further business? No. Very good. Thank you.